said that, Tamia, I wanted to ask uh, if you can share just one really emotional moment from any of the Al-Maghrib seminars that you've taught. I know there are probably thousands of examples, uh, but just one moment that, that maybe stands out to you uh, right now uh, that you could share with us, inshallah ta'ala. Honestly, this is a very difficult question to answer. Um, there are so many, so many beautiful memories and I am so grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enabled me to travel for uh, an Al-Maghrib uh, program right before COVID hit actually. Uh, it was in February and um, I traveled to England and one of the things that happened actually, I could share something from that. Uh, I met one of you know the sisters, um, one of the sisters who was actually with me uh, for most of my time over there, um, uh, an amazing sister from England. And she mentioned to me, um, when she met me, she's like, do you remember me? I said, uh, your face is familiar, but I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't recall your name. And then she reminded me of the class that, uh, you know, she was in. Uh, and I remembered her immediately. And uh, what had happened was that it was my, I think my first, yes, it was my first of Maghrib class, first, the first weekend that I had ever taught. And by the end of the second day, um, I, I teach a one day class, but by the end of the second day, my, my feet were toast. <laughs> they were just, I, I felt like I had blisters and I, I, I just could not stand and, and it was, it was hard, but Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah for being able to do that. And this sister just randomly walked up to me and she said, uh, may I press your feet? I'm like, what? I, I couldn't understand why she was saying that. And she had actually recognized that I was hurting because I was constantly limping. And on this last trip of mine, uh, she was also my driver. She, she drove me around and she had this really nice, um, you know, a, a, a foot cushion thing for me with like batteries inside it. So it would like kind of massage my feet. And honestly, uh, any, so much love this sister had, so much love where from where does this come from i i, I don't know um any th this is something that you cannot ask people to do this is not something that you can even pay people to do you know to to care for you to love you to to such an extent and i i truly feel that this love um is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts it in the hearts of his people and I pray to Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathers us under his throne uh, as, as those who uh, uh, you know care for one another, are concerned for one another, look out for one another for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jalla and only his sake. Ameen. Ameen. I mean, Jazakum al khairan for sharing that, Sadat May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and elevate your ranks and reward that sister as well. That's such a beautiful Ameen. gesture and beautiful example, subhanAllah. I hope you have a blessed rest of your Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and your loved ones. Allahumma ameen. You too. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, the example that you just heard, subhanAllah, I know that for many of you, when you've attended these classes on site and of course online, but in a different way, different form in the last few years, uh, you felt that there were so many friendships, so many companionships, so many, I know was, of course, in many places, marriages as well, but so many relationships that were formed, alhamdulillah, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through these classes. You may impact, by supporting Al-Maghrib Institute, a number of new friendships for the sake of Allah. And that is one of the categories of people who are shaded on the day, in which there's no shade but the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, the environment allows people to grow because you're learning from one another. It's a beautiful environment of growth, a beautiful environment of good companionship, a good influence, getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as brothers and as sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our hearts united upon that which is good. Allahumma ameen.